cleaning is not just for your home anymore. Nope, now is a great time to take inventory of your digital life and clean up anything that needs attention. It's all about making sure that your private information stays private. So let's do some digital spring cleaning, shall we? And I've broken this down to the three S's, security, software, and settings. So this is what you want to focus on. First thing, security. So make sure that your passwords are longer than the minimum characters required and they're unique to each account. Don't use Pookie 222 for all your accounts. No. Okay. Oh no. Enable two, <laughs> I know you do, Vanessa, but enable two-factor <laughs> authentication on all of your accounts where it is available. That just adds an extra layer of protection for you. The second S is software. So ensure that all the software and the systems that you're using are up to date, including your web, brow web browser and your operating systems. When you get an update on your phone, say, uh, you might just notice that you've got new emojis to use, but that's not really what they're there for. They're, they're really fixing some security gaps and holes, so it's very important when you get that update to update it right away. The third S is settings, so check the privacy settings. It's a good time to just take some digital inventory, right? So the privacy settings on all your social media accounts and all of your apps, you wanna know what access you're giving to these sorts of things. And delete the apps that you don't use, it'll free up some space and just make you feel digitally lighter. So those are the steps to digitally spring clean. It's a really important thing to do, Brad. People don't often think about that, but you gotta do spring cleaning for your house and for your devices. You know, I like keeping my desktop clean and cleaning all that stuff out there on my computer as well. So I totally feel you there.